a look Now I know we could have done it better Now I can't see myself. I decided I was gonna start making videos of just like me talking. Might as well uh, record me doing a bunch of nothing. There's so many fires. Time to cover my face again. Uh, the whole paper thing, it's uh, because I am really self-conscious and I don't like looking at myself. It's a lot easier for me to be able to make these videos if I just put a piece of paper so I can't look at myself. So I just recently discovered what being an empath was and I never understood why I felt such high emotions until I started reading into empathics and stuff like that. So, I guess we should start out by what is empathy. Maybe I could paint it. I'm only beginning to type. Oh! I just burnt myself. <laughs> I never really started painting until I moved out because I was always insecure about it not looking good enough. And then I realized that that, that isn't the point of art, is it? Boop. Some sad biz. But empathy is like feeling for another person. Physically feeling their emotions. Yup. Like I pick up on other people's emotions a lot. And just my friends, if they're sad, I feel that for them. And often people come to me for advice because they feel like I understand. But it's, it's not that I understand. I just absorb everyone's emotions it's a blessing and a curse now that i've now that i know i'm an empath i can tell myself you know these aren't your emotions but before i had no idea and i just thought that I, there was something wrong with me like why do i feel this much emotion why no one ever no one ever even thinks about empathy because barely anyone has it these days <laughs> honestly my whole life i thought that there was something wrong with me. There was something wrong with my brain. I needed to be something different. So I got put on, on ADHD medication from when I was like five. When I was a kid, I didn't know what, I didn't know what these emotions even were, let alone could I process them in the right way. So I acted out. I remember I used to have to fly to my dad's every summer. I would almost get kicked off of planes. I was, seven eight nine i was young i don't know how old i was just like flying out to my dad's in a plane alone <coughs> with no adults supervising me so i was going crazy i just i was hyper everywhere my mom couldn't handle me she said it was like dealing with 20 kids and at one point in school i almost got kicked out of school because they were like she either needs to be medicated or she's out and so i was medicated and i became this zombie like walking zombie and it's like i didn't feel anything and then when i got older i was on antidepressants so that made me numb too oh man high school was all horrible it was the worst yeah so in high school, I was depressed, so I was on antidepressants. Then, oh wait, no, I wasn't on antidepressants in high school. I was on ADHD medication still. Then I stopped taking it, and that's when I really, that's when I hit a low, because that's when I started feeling again. Yeah, I remember. Like, yeah, I remember what caused all this trauma. Yeah, but anyways, I, um...
so when I got out of high school, I was in college, and I was with just a bunch of like young adults who hated themselves. I'm not saying that college isn't fun, but it, for me personally, it was going to a university. I went to a small university too. I can't even imagine how it would be if it was huge. But I can't be with a bunch of people in a room because I can't focus on anything. Yeah, then I went to a mental hospital and they started me on antidepressants. Yeah, so I never really grasped just how much of an impact I was because I was always medicated. So then I decided to stop taking antidepressants and I was so emotional. That was the most emotional time in my life. I have a playlist and everything for it. My December playlist is just pitiful. So, oh, I, oh yeah, but then I started reading about empaths and how they like affect, yeah, just about empaths and stuff. And so, I don't even know where that story was going, so I'm just gonna cut it off there. Mm. Yeah, I forgot where I was going, I'll have to re-watch this to even find out, but... I don't care, so... So yeah, being an empath is very interesting because I'm constantly absorbing all of the emotions that are around me, even like animals and just nature in itself and it's hard to explain and I've always gotten told I'm dramatic which really kind of pisses me off because now that I know what it is everyone who's ever called me dramatic it just makes me kind of angry because I'm like no I'm sorry that I feel more that I feel more for other people than you do like I'm sorry I have too much empathy it's not my fault look at this Sorry, I'm not a pyro. Always cover my face again. Don't want to be looking at that. Just kidding. But yeah, being an empath is kind of fun. I actually really like it. I don't know. I I think once we begin to accept the weird parts of ourselves, that's when we can truly begin to actually love ourselves. Because most of the world hates itself, let's be honest. That's not even like, it's not even an opinion, it's fact. No one, uh, most of my friends just like don't even like themselves. And if they do, it's not even for the right reasons. They just like themselves because they have the nicest clothes or like the media's version of a perfect body or like money or all of these things that don't even make up love like <sighs> superficiality isn't love yeah anyways i don't know how my train of thought ended there but i guess i could also talk about why i decided to stop shaving you know like sometimes i forget women shave their armpits isn't that just crazy so i remember this one time in high school no i was in middle school this one time in middle school i we were watching the cheer team cheer and one of the cheerleaders lifted up both their arms to do like a something someone in the crowd was like shave your pits and like we were all laughing at her because she just had like some shadows under her arm and i was laughing too because i was like ha 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 she doesn't shave her armpits like she's gross and now my armpit hair is like yeah so dude 11 year old me or however old i was would make fun of me would make fun of the me that i am today because i was so insecure and i just didn't know because that it's just what I had been taught, that women had to shave their armpits, like, and who, okay, 
here's my question. Who likes Shagan? Who actually enjoys razor burn when you accidentally cut yourself? That's the worst, especially ladies. Um, and, and guys, too. Like, I know sometimes guys always will feel a pressure to shave. I'm sure they do. And... Um, but why? Have we ever just thought, why? Because, because companies make so many razors that if people actually started liking themselves enough to like everything about them, their body hair and everything, then those companies would just go... Well, we're constantly fed these pictures of beautiful women with beautifully shaved legs and like smooth and it's like being sold a sex appeal like your man will love you more if your legs are soft like i haven't shaved since like february and my leg hair is barely grown my armpit hair grows a lot but also i haven't shaved that in a while i do i do trim it like i trim things but i never put just like a razor to my skin with shaving cream and all that that's scary <laughs> and I lost my train of thought I lost my train of thought I lost my train of thought train of thought Oh yeah, when I tell people I don't shave my legs, they're like, I think one lady was like, how does your boyfriend feel about that? And I was like, I, yeah, I don't even. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I think that's all for my TED Talk. I'm gonna edit like 90% of this out.